the supraspinatus tendon that's insertion underneath the acromion arch. Uh, so, and you're gonna let go. Good. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Warren Kelstein here with future uh, Dr. Brooke. Brooke is, um, Brooke, where'd you go to undergraduate? Towson University. And what did you do at the end of your, uh, your career at Towson, at the end of your education? What, what, what did you enroll in that you got involved with our office? What was that? I did an internship here through Towson. How many hours did you do? Um, 120. At least. Yeah. More than that. Probably right? more, yeah. You split your more. time between a gym in downtown Baltimore. Uh huh. Um, had a great experience there. I did. Uh, the Under Armour Performance Facility downtown. Is that the right name? Fitness? Yeah, the Under Armour Performance uh, Center. Yeah, if you go down there, work out there, they've got an awesome gym. And the trainers, awesome. um, good, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're awesome down there. Love it. Yeah. So, shout out to great. that group uh, doing good things in the city. And then, um, Brooke came on board with us after the internship. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've graduated from Towson? Yes, okay. All right, so you've been graduated for a couple months. It is yeah. currently August. Um, and tell me about your experience so far as an assistant in the office. Um, I've loved it. It's a big change. I used to work in PT, and I wasn't as involved with the patients as we get to be here, which is so nice. We learn a lot. Um, I've gotten to grow a lot as in a lot of ways, actually. I'm more comfortable with people and then just growing in a lot of ways. Natural yeah. with the videos too, bro. Oh my yeah. gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. And you've been you've been very successful mm -hmm. early on as an assistant, just uh, integrating yourself. She's what's considered our new patient advocate. She's in charge. Um, and along with a couple other of the staff members, mm -hmm. uh, their priority is to um, basically welcome new patients, but they perform the history. They also are there with us for the exam portion of care. Um, and then as well as the plan for from a patient care plan standpoint, they're very involved with that. Uh, they do a lot of the reaching out to people's primary care providers after they come in as a new patient. So we always coordinate and basically say, hey, Dr. So-and-so, we're treating your patient for this. This is what our treatment plan is. Every single patient that comes in gets that. Uh, that's your job, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not speaking on a turn on that one. Yeah, you do that. And then you're also involved with a couple other side of things uh, for just running day-to-day -day business with us. So yeah. she's made a big impact already. I'm really grateful for Brooke. Um, I really appreciate her hard work, and th these videos give me a chance just to um, give patient or give employee feedback. Really, that's, that's what we're doing here. Yeah. yeah so a, a plus so far up to this point, Brooke. Keep Thanks. it up. <laughs> uh, we, uh, Brooke, you've been dealing with the shoulder uh, problem in the past. Yeah. And I just treated it. Maybe I treated it once or twice. Right? Yeah. In the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was it? Do you remember when I gave it you the diagnosis um, for it? Impingement. Impingement syndrome. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a functional, there's a couple structures that get impinged, um, but it's uh, a couple tests that lead us to that diagnosis. And what was it in the gym that caused you to have some shoulder pain? Overhead pressing. Overhead pressing. <laughs> uh, with how many hands on, on what? What were you doing? What kind of overhead pressing? With a barbell. With a barbell. Mm -hmm. So a barbell, overhead yeah. pressing, how much weight was on that barbell? Maybe 55 pounds. Total? We'll say, we'll say 60, yeah. 60? Like a 60. You added 60 plus the barbell? Oh, no, with uh, the barbell. With no, the barbell. No, the barbell's 45. Okay, okay, gotcha. So you're throwing some weight over your head. No, no judging yeah. here. That's, <laughs> overhead pressing is not easy, okay? No, For you it's judging, hard to go right up, now. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. All right, that's not easy. And the position that you throw your shoulder into when you mm -hmm. do this, uh, when you go like this, and then you press overhead, it's harder for your shoulder to say, we'll call it centered, um, centrated than it is if you're here, okay? Or here with your wrist, right? And so sometimes switching it to like a, like a reverse kettlebell, yeah. overhead press out front will clean up some of your problems and make you not as aggravated in the front of your shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the tail side of things, what did we do for you? Um, did some adjustments, some soft okay. tissue work, mm -hmm. and we started working on things um, not with like both hands on a barbell, single hand. So when, I walked, when we did that, when we were just in here in the gym. But, yeah, when we yeah. worked out, yeah. right? And you came in and you're like, mm -hmm. I still want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, well, if you need to do it, you got to change it up a little bit. Let mm -hmm. your body heal a little bit yeah. with it, right? Uh, I said, actually, no, I said, don't ever lift again. It's bad for you, right? Oh. No, heck no. No, we got to get you no. on the load in the right way and we got to fix the problem from the source. So, all right. Covered a couple of different things. One, mm -hmm. bro done an amazing job in the last only three months. She's working full time. She started as an intern. She is figuring out which direction she's going. 
Is that right? Yep. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> we don't know which way she's going. She's thinking about a couple different schools as it relates to her professional career, right? And that's exciting, and it's a nice transition yeah. period for her. So you can sit here before we face that way. And she made a comment when she was talking about why she likes it here, uh, or just really as, a, as an assistant in general, but um, I guess here in particular because uh, our assistants, they're, they're really, really strong in a lot of different skill sets, I'll say that. And it allows them to put themselves in a position to make an impact on patient care um, across the board here. So whether it's rehab, whether it's uh, go through the history and exam process, whether it's implementing exercises, whether it's setting people up on therapy or being involved with the therapy process, um, they're an integral part of our team. So I'm very, very grateful. And uh, let's work on the shoulder. Show me where the majority of the pain was on the shoulder when you had it. Um, so honestly, I felt like it was like in my shoulder. Uh, sometimes it would be kind of in this upper back area, mm -hmm. right in here, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then when we would stress it, do you remember where you had the majority of the pain? Sometimes I would have pain in the front here, very rarely, but when you would stress it in that area. Here? Uh, here. no, down. Yeah. yeah. So medial mm -hmm. shoulder blade mm -hmm. and posterior shoulder blade, mm -hmm. and then when I would put it into a compressed position, she'd get a little bit of sensation right here, irritation there, right? So, uh, I see the shoulder as a unit, right? And the unit is very closely connected to this unit and this unit as it relates to her neck, her thoracic spine, and her core, okay? So when I go to work on this type of a problem, I want to kind of get an idea how everything is working from an uh, integration standpoint, whether how it's moving, if there's any discomfort in those areas, does it need an adjustment, does it need load, um, and, or does it need therapy to the tissue itself. How we do therapy to the tissue itself here on impingement syndrome is through dry needling, we did laser therapy, we calmed the inflammation down that was here, and then we changed her form, and I worked on her spine. Big picture, that's what happened, right? Yeah, the needles were kind of scary. Scarred. At first. <laughs> head back for me. Yeah, we, the needle technique we do for that head down all the way. What was scary about the needles? Just the idea of them? Yeah, the thought of it. Yeah. Um, Dry needling uh, is what she's referring to. Yes. Using, uh, what, what, like say the same needle as an acupuncturist would use. Um, a lot of people know them as acupuncture needles, but there's a different term for them. But same thing. Uh, reach, reach, reach. And so with dry needling with an impingement syndrome, uh, needling a couple different areas. I'm needling the supraspinatus tendon that's insertion underneath the acromion arch. I'm looking at any trigger points and uh, basically uh, the posterior shoulder cuff, if you will, to put it simply, and the deltoid, the rhomboids, the trap, especially her trap. That's where she holds up quite a bit of it. Reach again for me, reach, reach, reach. Go, keep going, keep going. Now turn your body to the right. All your body, good. Good. Grab your wrist with your right hand and pull it. Mm -hmm. There you go. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right. Head down for me now. Good. Good. And come back. Good. Head back. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Uh, is there someone in room three for me? Room four is Clay. It's Clay. I think Dr. Jeff is room three. Okay, got it. Thanks. Head down for me. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. That's Andrew. He's in uh, the lead rehab uh, slash fitness instructor here. And he, uh, he's he been doing an awesome job over the last couple of months, really. Bringing on board some amazing staff members as well as uh, implementing some great ideas. So we combine a lot of passive therapies, but also um, we have a full gym. So we do fitness here uh, to really get to the root of people's problems. Sit up tall for me. Oh. Alright, so bring your left ear to your left shoulder. I, I want to pull your hair over to the side. Right ear to right shoulder. So just working, this is a technique called active release technique, Brooke. Um, have you heard me use that term before? Mm -hmm. What does it stand for? Or sorry, that's what it stands for. It's <laughs> short for art. Keep going, keep going. Good. Painful. It's short for painful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it intense? No, it's okay. It is, yes, but it's okay. Is it like a good kind of intense or a bad kind? Oh, well, of course you're gonna say good kind of intense. Yeah. Tell me what it feels like to you. Um, just a lot of pressure. Okay. Intense is definitely a good word. Yeah, right, left ear, left shoulder. It's definitely, uh, it's not like a 
passive massage. I'm taking a tissue and that trap fiber underneath my, my pointer finger is getting really, really stretched and then I'm rolling into it and adding compression. I'm literally trying to strip it and move it. Let it go. Good, let it go, let it go. Sorry, I know this is really uncomfortable right here on you. Good, let's do that two more times, okay? Ready? Yeah, you should, yeah, no, no. Right here for me. Yeah. You're good. Keep going. Go, go, go. Good. And last one. Start to the left. Shorten the fiber. Good. Drop the left shoulder. Relax it. Go ahead. Breathe in. And keep going here. Good. You got it. Okay. And settle. Alright, now stand up. Okay, how's that overall right now? Good. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it can be a little sore in that area after I yeah. work on it. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, that's kind of, a, of the change I'm looking for in the mm -hmm. tissue, okay? Did, um, who was it, Jet? Did Brady or Jesse, they adjust your upper back? Jesse did. Okay, come uh -huh. uh, take your glasses off, face off, face down for me. And then keep, you know, just relax on it. Impingement syndrome when lifting. Did she just give me the look? Oh, got it. I'll talk about impingement syndrome next time. Brooke, can we do another video on impingement syndrome? Yes. Cool. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move you, okay? Keep relaxed. Take a breath. Exhale, loose. Right here, loose. There you go. That's fine. Easy. Good. Good. Settle. Breathe in. And exhale it all. Look forward for me. Rest. Good. Loose. Good. Sit. Good. And relax. Okay. So we're going to work it right here, okay? Okay, you kind of feel that tension right here. I'm going to sink into that tension and you're going to let go. Good. And this should feel nice and easy, okay? A little easy release. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's crunchy. What's crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so mechanically we will talk. I'll nerd out on impingement syndrome later on. Thanks for watching. Brooke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys.